Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, June 6th, 2021. This puzzle has a title, it's called Oleo. And Oleo is just like a mixture of things, of different elements, like kind of like a hodgepodge. So I'll be interested to see how that manifests itself in this puzzle's theme. Alright, let's get started. One across earners of credits. Is this like AP students? You get AP credit. Maybe just college students? Hmm. Key for Chopin's heroic polonaise. Oh boy. Um. Is it minor? It could be minor or major. Um. Usually you get a letter before major or minor, like A major or C major. It's unusual that it's just major or minor because they're asking for a specific key, right? I wonder if we have a rebus here. This really does seem like it should be something like that. Um, let's see if this is an R down here. Thomas Hardy title character. No, that should be Tess. Tess of the Dubervilles. Um, so it's not major or minor. Weird. Oh, okay. So maybe it's flat then. Okay. Um, we still don't know what key, but that's very helpful. Getting those first letters for these long crosses here. Let's take a peek at those actually. Like a beaming smile. Hmm. Like a beaming smile. We have to remember the title of the puzzle is Oleo. So we might be cooking up something with a lot of ingredients or maybe like making music with different instruments or something. It's going to be some kind of mixture. Pork cutting option. Oh, geez. Um, I hope this is metaphorical pork, like getting pork out of legislation. Um... Line item bill. Ooh, oh, that's great. What a great piece of fill. I love it. Okay, revise could be amend. All right. This, hopefully, I think this is just breaking it open for us. That's fantastic. It might be organized, organized crime. Unfortunately, it might be. Foundation options. Is this about makeup or is this about buildings? Tones? That would be makeup, I think. Could it be tones? Earners of credits. Hmm. Okay, like a beaming smile. Could that be from ear to ear? <laughs> Another really good piece of fill. This little two stack of long answers is really great. Okay, so maybe this is tones, eclipses, and comets, perhaps. Those could be omens, or they could be taken to be omens. Joy of MSNBC, I think that's Joy Reid. I think she has her own show now. Parked it, so to speak, could be sat, yeah. Earners of credits would be actors. Oh, it wasn't about school, it's about film credits. Okay, so that leaves us with A flat, okay. Maximally, that could be at most, right? Pacific birds, and this is wordplay, so it's not about birds in the Pacific Ocean or near the Pacific Ocean. It must be about birds that are calm because Pacific can mean calm, right? Um, could it be dodos? Because dodos were kind of famously docile, right? Could this be a D? Line item something? Maybe it's a veto instead of bill though. Hmm. Oh yeah, because then this could be doves, right? Another bird that's famously peaceful. So this is a veto, not a bill, okay. Similar idea, just you're able to remove specific things from a bill with your veto power, okay. And then that leaves us doves, bit of thatching, 
I think thatching is a roof made of reeds, right? Okay. One selling airtime informally is definitely an ad rep. So what do we have here? Take sides. <laughs> Wordplay. I guess if you're taking in side dishes, you would be eating. Okay. Catapulted, say. Propelled, maybe? Nice. That breaks us into this section. That's very helpful. This is such an interesting layout, isn't it? It almost feels like it's like a big zigzag, like a snake or something. Word with two or three to describe a sloth. I think they're described by their toes, aren't they? Two-toed, three-toed. Bottom part. Could that be a bass, like in music? Um, interesting. I don't see any indications of a theme yet. This is very interesting. Oleo. From ear to ear, light line up veto. Hmm. Shopping in order to improve one's mood. That's definitely retail therapy. I think I've been guilty of that from time to time. One for whom underwear is pants. That is... In the UK, pants is the word for underwear, right? So that would be a Brit. Okay. They might be wireless. There's wireless bras, right? Okay. Pop star nicknamed with the, is that the Beeb? They're not talking about the BBC. It's Justin Bieber, right? Three dimensional. Is that for real? I don't know, that seems a little weird. Um, Three-dimensional seems like maybe you're talking about a character, how they'd feel like a real person. It could be, because like a two-dimensional character is like not a lot of emotional depth. Let's just see if we can confirm that. Reliquary. Hmm, where you'd keep relics. Museum. Inspiration for the Frisbee. That should be a pie tin, shouldn't it? Yeah, let's take at least four out. Let's put in pie tin. Um, floored. Amazed. I think some of these crossing pie tin might be helpful to get. Rapper who co-founded Mass Appeal Records. Hmm. This could be pie pan also. Um, cause this could be like Nas maybe. I don't actually know that, but he's a very famous three letter rapper. So tablet taken before going to bed, maybe. Hmm. Tablet. Is this, this is, this is misdirection, I think. This is not about a sleeping pill. This is about a electronic tablet, I think. Could it be an iPad? That's a great misdirection clue. That's really good. Longtime Ohio State basketball coach Mata. Yeah, definitely don't know that. Recovery center. Is that just rehab? Yeah, recovering from addiction. Floored. Hmm. Could it be aghast? That's a nice piece of fill. Okay. Let's take out this R actually too. That was kind of a guess also. Can we get this long one? One receiving a congratulatory email from eBay. Uh, maybe biggest bidder? You get a congratulations for winning an auction, I guess. Reliquary. Hmm, shouldn't that be highest bidder? Yeah, biggest bidder is not really a thing. Okay, so this could be a shrine. There we go. Uh, what? Oh, I spelled B wrong. I guess it's I-E-B. Maybe E-E -E is the BBC and I-E-B is Bieber. Okay, so could this be spatial? That's good. Chad Mata, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that in a million years. Okay. Host. Hmm. 
This is not a lot of something. I think this is when you're hosting a party. Entertain. Particles composed of two up quarks and one down quark. Oh man, I was just reading the article about subatomic particles on Wikipedia for another puzzle. Oh, um, I think this might be protons. I'm not sure about that, but that sounds right. Ugh, yeah. That would make sense because this is kind of like unbalanced. It has two up quarks and one down quark. Let's see if that's right. Start of some no frills brand names. It's probably Econo, like Econo Lodge. Okay, Camaro for one. That could be a coupe type of car. Green liqueur. Hmm. Not creme de menthe. What's another green liqueur? I don't know if I know. Key hit with a pinky. Hmm. Is this on a computer keyboard, maybe? Hmm. What keys do you hit with your pinky? Tab? Control? Portrayer of Marvel's Hawkeye. Um, oh, what's his name? Isn't it Jeremy Renner? Is that right? I think it is. Oh yeah, and then you could hit return with your pinky, right? On a computer keyboard? Yeah, okay. Uh, oh man. Half of a notorious outlaw duo. I guess that would be Bonnie and Clyde, right? I don't I think I just don't know this. The liqueur refused to share. Could that be hogged? Filet mignon, okay. Is it Pernod with a T? Uh, I don't know. Bet strategically. No, that should be hedged, right? You hedged your bets. Pernod with a D? I think maybe I've seen this. I don't really know what it is. Have you never been blank? Number one album for Olivia Newton-John. Have you never been... Hmm. I don't know that one. Desktop icon could be a folder. Is this mellow? Wait, what did you just say? An equivalent phrase? That should be hold on, right? Maybe hold it. Fire? Fire. Hmm. Like get rid of someone at a company? Traveled like Sharon. Um. Sharon. Ah, uh, who is that? Is that somebody in like a chariot? Uh, I'm not exactly sure who that is. Small kitchen knife? That should be a pearer. Okay, maybe fire could be ardor, like passion. Uh, is it mellow? Bird much seen in cities. Well, I see a lot of sparrows in cities. That's pretty likely. Oh, is Sharon the um, the ferryman to the river Styx? Is it ferried? That sounds like it might be right to me. I'm gonna put that in, yeah. Ingredient in an Alabama slammer. Um, I have no idea. I have a feeling it's not Perno. Um, hmm. Go out to get some juice, and this is wordplay. Go out to get some juice, like maybe charging an electric car? Hmm. Emulates a chipmunk, say? Stuffs your cheeks? Hmm. Reply to a ring. Come in? A doorbell ring, maybe? Is this, like, skitters? It could be. Not in the dark. 
could that be aware if you're not in the dark you're aware of something right scamper i think scamper is a better a better answer there um it does almost click it's gonna start with power right power something Adriatique, e.g. This seems like it's French, maybe. Could that be a mare? Like a sea? Yeah, maybe. Oh, go out to get some juice. Go out as in, like, become unconscious to get some juice, to get energy, so you could power nap, right? That's a really good wordplay clue. That's like two puns in one clue. That's really nice. Um, okay, so maybe Alabama Slammers need Amaretto? I think that sounds good. Task for a sous chef. That should be prep, chopping all of the ingredients and so forth. Like sirens. Those are enticing. Like the Lorelei in Germany. Be considered perfect. Um, is it like rate a 10? That's a weird kind of phrase. It seems like it might be right. Abstract artist Mondrian. Is it Pierre? Hmm, I'm not sure about that one. More than just clean? That should be spotless, right? Okay. PA? Hmm. Schedule keeper abbreviated should be a calendar though. Rate a 10? It might be. Fuse? I would want that to be like fused together. Hmm. Origami designs thought to bring good fortune. That's gotta be cranes. It's like the most popular origami design, right? Mythical nymph? Uh oh. Um. Is this a specific nymph or just like a generic name for a kind of nymph? Like a dryad or something? Helps secure a loan? That should be cosigns. Surname of Harry Potter's adoptive family. I do know that one. Being a huge Harry Potter nerd, that is the Dursleys. Dudley, Petunia, and Vernon. Yep, those nasty Dursleys. Okay, so Fuse could be Unite. Um, hmm. Is it a Naiad? I think it might be. I can't keep straight which nymphs are which. Like, there's Water Nymphs, Wood Nymphs, but I think Naiad is one of them. Scratch. Um, scratch is a slang term for money, right? So maybe it's Moolah? Stopped smoking. This is wordplay. Could it be cooled? It could just be cooled. Like if something was on fire, it stopped smoking. It could be cooling off. Added to the language. Hmm. I feel like this is going to be a good phrase. I can't think of what it exactly would be. Hmm. First little piggy's destination. This little piggy went to market. Yeah. The little piggy went to market to go shopping for groceries. That's my version of it. Left the harbor. Could that be sailed out? Yeah, okay. Dinosaur of kids TV. Was that Barney? Okay. Yeah, I was a little too old to be caught in the Barney wave, but I do remember being aware of that in the 90s. Did a TV marathon say? Could that be binged? Yeah, a lot of that going on last year, I'd imagine. It helps take the edge off. Is that just a sander in a wood shop or something? Signaled slyly, that should be winked. Okay, so maybe this could be coined a phrase. Very nice, yeah, that is a good entry there. But what is the theme today? We have almost three quarters of the grid filled in. What is going on here? I guess we'll get a revealer at some point, but yeah, there hasn't really been anything to speak of as far as theme answers go, as far as I can tell. 
Boy, yeah, have you guys noticed anything? I just, I'm not seeing anything. As one? Um, hmm. I would want that to be, like, mended. But that's... No, I, it, it would be better if it was, like, melded. In a lather with up? That should be worked up. If you're in a lather, you're kind of upset about something. Okay, so this could be bonded. That's better. That is kind of like melded. Come back around? Could that be boomerang? Nice. Okay. What's this long one? Don't dwell on the past. An equivalent phrase, a piece of advice. Forget about it. Okay. Hmm. Sewer's sibling? Oh man, I have no idea what this is. Looks vaguely French. Negotiate could be broker. Oh, is this a frere? Is a sewer a sister? Because frere is brother, right? Okay, yeah, that's definitely French. Was rife with? Teamed with? Yeah. Skewered? Um... Satired? But then we have two T's. Uh-oh. We want all the juicy details. Hmm, that should be like tell us or something, right? I think it should be. Tell us. Hmm. Maybe it's just like physically skewering something. Speared like that. Yeah, okay. Let out or take in, that would be alter like a tailor would. Shrug. Why is this green? Wait a minute. Uh, why is this? If it's green, it should be referencing itself. What's going on here? Whatever reactions. This is weird that it's... Usually if, if an answer is referencing another answer, that other answer is like yellow, right? But if an answer is referencing itself, it turns green. But there's no... Oh, this is so weird. Maybe it has something to do with the theme. I mean, this seems pretty straightforward. It should be beats me, right? But why would... Uh, well, well, we'll probably find out. <laughs> I shouldn't spend too much time thinking about it. Okay. All in the family subject. Is that bigotry? Because that was Archie Bunker, right? The famous bigoted TV down. Families and friends support group. Hmm. Is that something anon? Like Alcoholics Anonymous? Hmm, I'm not sure how it starts. I'm not sure what kind of group exactly this is. Provide a password. Could that be log on? What Mr. Clean, Captain Picard, and Michael Jordan have in common. They're all bald, right? So maybe they all have a bald head in common? Okay. Um. Hmm. Save for later in a way. Safe for later, hmm. One-time hair removal brand? Hmm, shouldn't that be Nair or something? Or maybe Neat? Uh, is this a bald... Pate? No, what is this? It's gotta be bald. Compilations of funny film faux pas. That should be gag reels. Um, hmm. Wait a minute. What is going on here? Shouldn't this be jar? Like if you're saving preserves or something? Maybe it's not bald head. Maybe they have something else in common. I really want this to be jar, but... J? Uh-oh. Thought expressed in American Sign Language by... Extending the pinky, thumb, and index finger. Oh, I know that one. That's I love you. Okay, so it's not jar. Yeah, that's a nice one. Okay, 
So I think, is this neat? Was that a hair removal brand? I want to say maybe it was. Oh, and this is DVR. Okay, very nice. All right, so maybe it's not bald head. Maybe it's just baldness. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, and this is Al Anon, Alcoholics Anonymous for short. Okay. Whatever reactions, that could be eye rolls. Light filled room, could that be a solarium? Solarium, there we go, okay. Michael, whose initials match those of his famous comedy troupe. Michael Palin, MP, that would be Monty Python, right? Okay, nice, that's a little tricky. You gotta think through a few steps there, but yeah, that's good. Argentite. E.g. Well, that sounds like an ore. I'm not sure what kind of metal that actually is. Sting, perhaps? Um, like a police sting? Could be a trap, yeah. And then Hitchcock's forte would definitely be suspense. Yeah, okay. Very nice. Just going through the motions. Hmm. Not sure. Complete as a crossword. Well, we should get this one pretty easily, I would hope. Um, hmm. I wonder if it's not out. Because shouldn't this be fill in? Yeah. Okay, so maybe it's sailed off. And then creations for Mardi Gras is definitely floats. There we go. It's nothing. Could that be nil? That's literally nothing. Blank Top Locale Ice Cream brand. That's Halo Top. I've never tried it, but I see it in the supermarket. Um, hmm. Maybe this is on auto. Like if you're on autopilot, you're just going through the motions. Happy Blank is definitely happy hour. <laughs> I was like, is this doula? That looks like a, what it's going to be. And then we get birthday presents. Wordplay, yeah. So it's not about birthday presents that you would get at a birthday party. This is a doula that would be present on the day of a baby's birth. Yeah, because she's kind of like a birthing assistant, I guess you would say. Some diners and donors that would be patrons. Bits of hijinks. <laughs> More wordplay. Little bits that are in the word hijinks, literally. These little dots, I guess. Three in a row, that's pretty clever. Warehouse loading areas are bays. Matthew of the Americans. I haven't watched this one. I know people like it. Is it Reese? That seems like what it has to be. I don't know any other name that could fit in there. Maintain in a way as a highway. Uh, I would want that to be repave. All right, well, we just, we don't have a theme, so <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the theme is that there's no theme or maybe we'll eventually get a revealer that reveals something interesting about either the amount of like letters or maybe how the clues are working. Yeah, because of right now, I just, I'm not seeing anything. Like Queen Anne's Lace. Uh, wordplay? Is it hers? <laughs> that would be weird. Like, it's just the lace belongs to Queen Anne, so it would be hers. That seems so dumb that it can't be that. Let's hope that that's not what it is. Stage name for hip hop's Sandra Denton. Oh, man. Music? Ugh. I don't know, maybe I've heard of this person, but let's see if we can get some crossing help. Post-distraction segue. Um, as I was saying, yep, that's a way to get back on track. Way, way off. It looks like it starts with not even, maybe it's not even close. That would be way, way off. Clearing, could that be a glade maybe? A clearing in a forest. Fifth of eight. Yeah, I think that's 
the eight notes in the scale, do, re, mi, fa, sol. Yeah, that's the fifth one. Okay. Taverna staple? Is that a pita? Yeah, that makes sense, because taverna is like, kind of like Greek, isn't it? They would have pitas. Okay, stage name for hip hop's Sandra Denton. Is it Pippa? I don't know. No, it's gotta be hued here for cut through, right? So it's Peppa. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that. And it is hers. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess that's fine. Uh, show filmed at Rockefeller Center. That's definitely Saturday Night Live. Spice related to nutmeg? I think that's mace, maybe. They're both very potent. Like bison vis-a-vis -vis beef? Oh god. I don't know. I'll just take a guess here. Blank and Majnun. Arabic story that inspired a Clapton hit. Oh man. I have never heard of this. Is this a Layla? Layla and Majnun? Interesting. That's what he was singing about in Layla. Okay. One of the Holy Trinity ingredients in Cajun cuisine. Hmm. Interesting. Is it onion? Onions in a lot of things. That wouldn't surprise me. Advice to one in a lather? Oh, that's kind of a partner to our other lather clue that we had. There was one about being in a lather, right? I think this is wordplay, so this is going to be literally about taking a shower, so you'd want to rinse if you're in a lather in the shower. Okay. It's all the rage? Could that be a mania? Traditional accounts should be lore, yeah. And then very inclined to, could be eager to. All right, let's put that in. And I guess we just don't have a theme today. Let's see if that's the case. Oh, okay. Hmm, I guess we have something wrong here. Hmm. All right, let me see if I can track down our incorrect square and I'll get back to you when I find it. Oh man, I think I just came across our mistake. This is not how you spell spatial. Yeah, it's with a T, right? And then this is Thad Mata instead of Chad. Oh God, that took me forever to see. As you can see, we about doubled our salt time here. What a brutal cross. I mean, I shouldn't know how to spell spatial, so this is totally my own fault, but boy, was that a hard mistake to ferret out finally. All right, well, it looks like everything else hopefully is right. So let's put a T in here and cross our fingers and pray that this finishes the puzzle for us. All right, well, yeah, that almost literally doubled our solve time there, trying to find that mistake. I, I was sure it was here because I just <laughs> I thought this answer was so dumb. Like Queen Anne's lace, it's hers, right? It's her lace. Okay, I guess that was fine. And then I guess this is salt and Peppa, right? Is that Sandra Denton? I think that might be, so that makes sense. And then I was like, oh, maybe it's not Reese. Maybe it's not Matthew Reese, it could be. And then I wasn't sure about P.A. Mondrian either. So I spent a lot of time thinking that maybe some of these are wrong. And then this, this threw me off so much. I was like, there must be some secret revealer to a theme for this puzzle because this is self-referential. I think it's just a computer bug. I think because it's starting with an asterisk, usually clues that have asterisks are referring to another clue, but maybe in this puzzle, it just sort of defaults to referring to itself if it doesn't have anywhere specified to point to. So I was like, oh, maybe this is the key to unlocking everything. But yeah, I think it's just a bug. So it was just this T after all. Well, I guess the theme today is there is no theme. I mean, unless I'm really missing something. Um, I mean, oleo could mean like a mixture of things, right? So maybe it's just a mix of standard crossword fill. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of... I think this is a pretty strong grid, actually. Um, there's a lot of good long answers. I'm gonna 
you know, just totally discount this because this was my own stupid mistake. This is not the puzzle's fault. This is a fair cross. You should know how to spell spatial. And so a lot of the longer crosses are really good. Like from ear to ear, line item veto, great. Um, yeah, these are all kind of like phrases. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, there's nothing too crazy unusual, but everything was pretty solid. I mean, you saw we kind of flew through this grid. I think our solve time should have been about 35 minutes if we hadn't made this mistake here. So yeah, this was a very easy Sunday puzzle, I would say. Um, you know, I did score over an hour solving it, but I think most people are probably gonna solve this in really quick times. Um, so I have to say, even though I think this is a strong grid, like this is great stuff for like, if this was like a double sized, I don't know, Friday, even though it's not really hard enough to be a Friday, um, this would be great. I just, you know, Sundays usually have themes, so I kind of miss that aspect of it. You know, Sundays are a chance to like do kind of crazy themes that wouldn't fit in a 15 by 15 grid. So, you know, I kind of feel like we, we miss out if there isn't a theme on a Sunday. Um, and if it's just like a giant themeless, like, you know, at least it was a good themeless, like, this is a good solid grid um but you know there's nothing like super sparkling about it either you know there's nothing really that i'm gonna remember like coin to phrase and retail therapy are great phrases but you know i mean there's not a whole lot here that um we're gonna be talking about in a week or two um i did like this rinse and worked like lather mini theme that's about as close to a theme as we got today, I think. And so, yeah, I think that's going to do it. Let me know if I completely missed some kind of hidden theme here. If you guys spotted it and I didn't, please let me know in the comments because I would love to be wrong about that. Um, like if maybe there's something weird going on with the clues. I mean, sometimes they like put the clues in alphabetical order or they like don't use a certain letter. I don't know. Maybe I missed that. Usually they tell you in some kind of note or a revealer but yeah let me know if i miss something about this theme all right well i hope you enjoyed solving this themeless giant sunday puzzle with me i'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice easy monday puzzle where we'll go over some basic crossword solving tips and yeah i think that's going to do it for now all right i'll see you next time <laughs>